There are many ways to measure automotive excellence, but top speed is the one everybody secretly cares about the most. These 10 exotic supercars are more than just fun though. They are the fastest production cars on planet Earth. One-off custom jobs didn't make the cut. McLaren F1, 241 miles per hour. The McLaren F1 is more than just a former world's fastest car. With its carbon fiber body, gold-lined engine bay, 6.1 liter BMW MV12, and center driver's seat, it just might be the coolest car ever made. Years before it attempted to take on Ferrari and Porsche with the MP4-12C, McLaren was known only as a successful race team in Formula One and the defunct Can-Am series. Yet its first road car wasn't exactly an amateur effort. The F1 went on to a fairly successful racing career in its own right, winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1995. Koenigsegg CCR 242 miles per hour. The CCR was an evolution of the CC8S, produced between 2004 and 2006. The CCR was produced in 14 examples in total. Compared to the CC8S, the CCR featured an upgraded body design, a larger front splitter, a rear wing, larger brakes, new enlarged tires and wheels plus upgraded chassis and suspension. The CCR also had a more powerful engine with twin compressors, producing an astonishing 806 horsepower. All in all, the CCR had a more racing car-like stance and appearance compared to the more elegant CC8S. The CCR managed to take the Guinness record for the world's fastest production car at the Nardo test track in Italy. In February 2005, the CCR reached 388 kilometers per hour, beating the eight-year-old set record by the inspirational McLaren F1. Saline S7 Twin Turbo, 248 miles per hour. Among performance addicts, the Saline S7 is legend. Exotic styling, insane performance, and tuning potential to name a few. But much of the vehicle's appeal is actually historical. Produced from 2000 to 2009, the S7 was America's first mid-engine supercar, producing 750 horsepower. The vehicle could hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds, before smashing the quarter mile in 10.5 seconds. Its most stunning statistic is its top speed of 248 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest cars ever put to payment. Tesla Roadster, 250 miles per hour. The original Tesla Roadster was a sports car based on the Lotus Elise, and although its performance was certainly impressive, it's more known for establishing Tesla as a legitimate player in the automotive world. The new Roadster is another thing altogether. This second generation Roadster features the most impressive spec sheet of any EV before it. 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, and a claimed top speed of 250 miles per hour. In addition to the ridiculous acceleration and speed, Musk claims the Roadster will boast a range of 620 miles. SCC Ultimate Aero, 256 miles per hour. Shelby Supercars SSC has nothing to do with Carroll Shelby of Cobra fame, but for a moment its Ultimate Aero was the fastest production car in the world. It reached the top speed of 256 miles per hour back in 2007, beating the non-super sport version of the Veyron. Helping it achieve that warm speed was a 6.3 liter twin turbocharged V8 with 1,287 horsepower. There are no electric driver aids to help control that power either, creating a pure driving experience for those with talent. Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, 268 miles per hour. The Bugatti Veyron is, once again, the fastest production car on the planet. Bugatti says an orange and black Veyron 16.4 Super Sport achieved an average top speed of 267.8 miles per hour at the hands of test driver Pierre Henry Raffinel. Stop and think about that for a moment. That's more than 393 feet per second and almost 4.5 miles per minute. Even Bugatti's engineers were surprised.
Bugatti Chiron, 261 miles per hour. The Chiron is the fastest, most powerful, and exclusive production super sports car in Bugatti history. Its sophisticated design, innovative technology, and iconic performance-oriented form make it a unique masterpiece of art, form, and technique that pushes boundaries beyond imagination. Top Gear presenter James May compared it to the automobile equivalent of the Concorde. After 10 years of production, the Volkswagen Group has unveiled the Veyron successor, the Bugatti Chiron. The Chiron is the king among supercars, which is fitting, as kings will be among the few to obtain one. Only 500 were released for the first generation, and they cost a staggering 2.6 million each. Hennessy Venom GT, 270 miles per hour. Hennessy recorded a 270.4 mile per hour run at the Kennedy Space Center in 2014, but only in one direction. To be considered legitimate, record attempts usually require a run in each direction, and an average is taken into account for wind conditions. There's also some debate about whether the Hennessy Venom qualifies as a production car due to its hand-built nature. Hennessy's monster wasn't recognized as the world's fastest car by the Guinness Book of World Records. Hennessy Venom F5, 301 miles per hour. Boasting a claimed top speed of 301 miles per hour, the Venom F5 smashes the previous top speed figure by more than a school zone speed limit. To do so, Hennessy started with an all new 2,950 pound carbon fiber chassis. The Venom GT is based on the Lotus Exige and bolted a 1,600 horsepower, 7.4 liter twin turbo V8 to it. The results are absolutely astonishing as the car can reportedly go from 0 to 249 to 0 miles per hour in less than 30 seconds total. Hennessy is yet to confirm its top speed with the Guinness Book of World Records. Comment below, what's the fastest car you have driven? Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more exciting videos.